Welcome back yet again to our single player world. Today we will be working on our city's defenses, stopping anyone from coming in from the sea, all in around this area right here. And we may as well get started on that. However, we do need to clear out some of this land because of course, this is in our way right now. So while we do that, I thought I may as well just tell you guys that this is episode 101, which is crazy because last episode, of course, was episode 100, which was absolutely, it was insane. The massive support that we got in episode 100 was absolutely crazy. And thank you very much for all you guys for being there for 100 episodes already and now 101. Hey, how's that? And uh, I just wanted to say thank you for the, uh, for hanging around with us and enjoying our series. And uh, it's cool to see that everyone's still having fun building this world and seeing how crazy it can become. So while we're doing this, I thought I would clear this area out in a real quick time lapse, get it all done so that what we can do is we can get straight into the action and get some stuff going. First of all, what I want to do is I want to have an area where boats coming into this city are going to have a really, really tough time getting past here. That's pretty much what we want. Besides that, I've got some other ideas where we will be adding in a few different spaces for drills to be come out, like drills to be done and a few other things. But Besides that, we have to look at some building techniques that we're going to be doing. First of all, messing around with height levels, very important. Because this is going to be a wide open area. It can look very flat, very boring. Just picture it. Give me a second, you'll see what I mean. It can be very flat and very boring. And what we're going to have to do is make some levels, get some stuff to work for us that way, and then we'll be able to start decorating this place so well. With that out the way, we can start talking about the levels, and really what I was talking about with the height differences, and I've also done quite a bit of stuff here since that little time lapse. So basically, let me let me walk you through where we are. In fact, I'll go to a, a familiar place just in case someone might not know where, where we are standing. Currently, this is the dock. This is the bar. That's the market area. So as we're coming around here, you can see this. This is actually quite a good example of it, in fact. Using height to our advantage to make something a little bit more interesting with our builds instead of just staying on one level or, and making it plain. So take this for example. We've got ourselves these streets on a very basic level. Just having a pavement, I guess, is a, a change in height. And that makes a, a, a large enough difference, at least just from the street level. Because the street, of course, is a, a fairly plain thing. And we have to try and make that as interesting as possible. Walking up these stairs, however, you can see that there's another level to these. Which means you can have another perspective on this whole area here. As to this, ex this area here from what you would have on the other way. I know it sounds kind of silly, but you'll see what I mean. And as we come around here, we've got another level there, micro, like kind of like a micro level. And then of course, another level over here, followed by more and more. So building on different heights and ha at least having your characters stand on different heights even is a very important way of getting more detail into your builds. I think, I think it's, it's probably what's made this area here look better in, in, all fairness, that's probably, if I could pick one single thing that's done the most, it would be that there. Besides just adding detail with uh, with depth and stuff like that, that is probably the most important thing. So coming over here, we are doing something similar, and this would probably be better off if we just took a step up over there. Uh, and got out of this. We can do it. Come on. Oh, and then we fall down, of course. Alright, let's go up here and I'll show you what I'm doing. So we've got this level over here coming up with some stairs. This won't be this plane all the time. This is just purely to get the height levels right and get some things worked out. And of course, that's that will get decorated. Don't you worry. So up here, what the plan is, is we want to build ourselves a defensive... I would say like outpost of the city to be over here to protect from any incoming invasions. So boats coming in or ships coming into the harbor from here, they have to come through a pretty bad barrage of of uh, <laughs> defense to make it this far. But that's the idea of it, at least having this part over here to look out for it. And what I can, what I wanted to think about was in this military of this this city, they would have their drills that they do. If you're not familiar with drills, basically whenever certain there's certain marches and certain things that different places do, different militaries do, this one has uh, conducts these ones here every changing of shift or every day, something along those lines. So I wanted to create a courtyard that we could have someone who can command it, some place for people who are doing it to be standing, and then also, of course, we'll actually have to have the, the physical spot that these people are defending from. That's what we wanted to do. Now, the whole thing about that is that's the story, at least with this. Now, in terms of height, this does need to be a bit higher because, of course, we do need to look out over things. So that's pretty cool. And not only that, we can also mess around with this big area because it's a fairly large area. Having a very fat 
like area like that look at that it's like 10 20 blocks probably 15 blocks somewhere in between there um long and then close to 10 wide it's very very big and what's going to happen there is you're going to have a lot of space that needs detailing and a lot of open space and that can really kill a build such as that look at that if i don't do anything there that's going to look absolutely horrible those as well could do with a bit more but right over there if i left that there that's not going to look very good so we have to think about that with this one and that's where getting this height level is going to make it better because if we just had this big flat piece like that that's not going to look good so all we've done is we've taken out a huge chunk of land this whole area here and just by making it a different level, it's needed stairs, it's needed pillars, it's needed so much stuff that you didn't have to fake in there. And that's made it a little bit more interesting, even though it's still the same color, it already looks better. So up close, nothing really too spectacular. I wanted the ground to look like it's been broken. Of course, yes, we will be going under here and, and adding in some of these things around this way. Because you know me, I can't, I can't stand seeing the uh, the path blocks incorrectly used like that. They just, uh, it's, it's a little thing of mine. That over there with path blocks, I can't, I can't do it. I really can't. So that's the idea with this. And now what we're going to do for the next stage is we're going to start adding in a few of the the, the smaller, more story-based details. For instance, a place for a flag that can be raised and lowered. We won't actually have it physically raised and lowered, but a, a spot for it, a, a flagpole. And not only that, also we want to have ourselves some other things around the place. Of course, we will eventually have to have a building for the defenses. We'll have to have the actual cannons or... I'm thinking ballista, which is actually a suggestion I got a few weeks ago, which is probably a bit, a bit more simple to build than a cannon because every time I've tried to build a cannon, it, I know it sounds kind of easy, like, this is the one I've heard a million times, and I can probably do this in a few seconds, and I'm going to be completely honest with you, I really don't like this idea. Someone says, do this, and then have a thing like that. Fair enough, it kind of looks like a cannon, I know, but it doesn't quite work with the overall shape, and it looks quite precarious, so we'll, we'll get rid of that there. That's the one that everyone recommends you do, but to me, it just lacks the detail, and I think we could probably put a lot more detail in with the blocks that we kind of we have around here, with a uh, with a ballista, which is if you guys don't know, kind of think of a heavy duty bow and arrow. Here are some really unflattering angles, at least of this place, and I've been doing some pretty solid work on this. So let's go check it out. First of all, we're keeping with the theme of the city. You know me, got to get some bone blocks in there, and uh, we definitely do have <laughs> do have our share of bone blocks. So how about we go out here and get started with the the thought behind this. Picture this, you're in this particular defense force here, you are getting ready to, to go into your shift. There are a bunch of people standing here, all in, in rows, ready to start, ready to go through their drills, and there's a person on the top here instructing them. That's the thought behind it. Of course, there's a lot of imagery, a lot of flags of this city, of the kingdom, to make you feel like you really are. In, in like a, a place that is all about this, you know I mean? It, it makes sense why there would be flags around here. That's what I was feeling would be a, a good little look for this. And of course I wanted to make a courtyard, an outdoor area between two things. There, there have been some pretty interesting things that I've had to come up with here. First of all, I, I wanted this to be wide, but of course we can't have it too wide. So this one has to be a wall over here. And I was thinking I could maybe do something like what we've done here with the stairs like this, because as you're walking up from here, this is the way you'd get up, so you can go up around this way, around this way, a lot of different directions, no real reason, I think it's just more interesting. And as you come up here, you'll have this entrance here, which could take you around that way, or it could just take you into this. I think that's cool for a few reasons. First of all, it breaks it all up, and second of all, it's also a way of getting around this issue of me just kind of slapping things down and working them out and seeing where they go. I think that one worked very well. Oh, yep, that's a, that's a problem. Of course, look at the bushes. We've, we've done some gardening as well and some trees. So the next thing, of course, with this would be getting this area looking a bit more interesting compared to what it is. And I think the best way to do it is to probably start by explaining what I plan on this area being. So over here, as we go here, we would, of course, have these people doing their drills. You would have behind this a big building, which would probably house the offices for this area where some more important kind of people in, in this particular, like, this particular organization would be at the top conducting that whatever work they do and of course the people on the defense on the the wall of themselves over here uh this which will eventually be a wall uh will be of course going to work 
So what we need to do over here is push this out a little bit more so that we can get some more things, for instance, some perhaps some rooms for these these people to stay in. Uh, a few different things like that. So the barracks basically of it. That's what I'm thinking in this spot here. There is a, a bit of a catch though, and it's something I'm not too comfy with, is we don't have too much space. So we've got one, two, three, let's go another one, two, three. That takes us up to here. And that could work, however, it will be pretty tough because what will happen is, the way I've done this now, is say for instance this block over here was mimicking uh, the equivalent of this block over here, so we'd be pushing it out. The wall actually doesn't start there, it starts there. So what will happen, and it could even realistically be starting a bit further back because of the fact that this is on an angle. But like, yeah, this building's on an angle. I forgot I forgot to mention that, <laughs> if you didn't work it out. Uh, it's on an angle, which uh, we, we're sticking to the theme of doing some weird stuff, weird challenges. And uh, there's our angle build uh, with with a little bit less less uh, challenge than the first time, I guess. So over here, this would be mean that right now, going in this way and putting in some of these here, let me just get them in like that. The wall would only end up being roughly around this area here. So that's a challenge because that's only four blocks wide. And if you ask me, that's not wide enough at all. Now, pushing in any further over here, we'll start pushing into this path and make this whole path here obsolete. So there is a bit of a trouble, well, a bit of a, an issue with this. And that's where we got to work out how we're going to do it. What I think will be probably a cool way of working this problem out is poss well, possibly making these stands like little stilt type things to hold the building up on this side which could actually be very very interesting however what's going to happen which also could be very interesting is as we come around here this one will only push in roughly one block when we get to more or less this way in fact i think i want to push this one out one so as we get around this way this block will be over here so we'll have to come up with a creative way of doing it maybe we can support them from here and it's also going to cover this as if this is in a tunnel so that that's a lot of a lot of stuff that's all there, but I hope you can tell uh, the way, the, well, this is just generally the way I build. It's kind of just whatever comes around we use and uh, that's kind of the way we've set ourselves up and that's the, the the problem we have to solve there, I guess. Probably not the most efficient way of doing it, but it definitely creates a, a reasonably more organic look to the city than, than originally. So let's go fly off and have a look at it from a little bit further away now that we know what's going on there. So coming down here, man, I'm looking forward to that place. As we go in there, you can see that slight curve going in there. And of course, imagine a building here, a taller building on this direction. In fact, we can we can probably just I wish I wish there was like a jetpack right now just so I can stop. I guess there is always creative or like spectator mode, but we're not using that. So if we had like a, a thing at the back there, like a bigger building, a larger building, and this one here, this roof is only probably a little bit taller than that roof. That would have a really cool look to to it, I think, in general. It'll break it up a lot. And also, let's look at it from this side. As you were coming in on this way, also an important part, and I, I like the, the overall city skyline look of it, is over here we'll have a really large building and some smaller area where we'll have the defenses. So that would look very cool as well, because it's probably going to be the end of the tall buildings before we have some smaller houses over there and some more industrial stuff around that way. So we've done some stuff here and I think it's looking very good. Now, while we're doing this, I also want to talk about a little bit about, of course, the future for the next 20 episodes that we'll be doing around here. In particular, where we're going to be working because that's when our next world tour will be at episode 120. So right now we are obviously in the Northern city, which is I think a better way of saying it, which was pointed out to me the other day, instead of the main city and the other city. <laughs> so what we, where we are right now is in the very far northeast part of our world in terms of our map. And what we do, what we're going to do is we're going to be doing a bit of work here, but I also want to go back to the southwestern point, which is a bit more central than this one, but southwest. And it's probably the, well, part that I've done the most work in, in fact, because we've got some really big mountains there. And I think that'll be cool to go back and work on areas around those mountains that we can we can maybe do a bit of cool stuff there. So here we go. Let's talk about this stuff here now. This is looking pretty good, if you ask me. It's a very weird look with a very small, narrow, like a very narrow building there. But it's all right. I think it works quite well. And it's a matter of time before we go a bit further and we try and see what we can do with the back piece. In fact, let me just go over here and you'll see what I mean. How long before that guy? 
Not interested in us. Oh, no, no, I was wrong. Uh, before we get that back piece, which will probably sit up around this this height over here. How many hits? Three, I think. Oh, two. That gold wasn't doing too much for him. So, yeah, if we get that piece going up a bit there, and I want there to be sort of a miniature tower coming out of it as well. And then we've obviously got spots to work on on the other side there. So let's go check it up a little bit closer because there's a lot of small details that you might enjoy around there. And one of the things is, of course, these windows. Very simple, actually, the windows. And I've just realized this whole piece over here, <laughs> I haven't filled in yet. That's all right. I've done it on the other side, so we just have to come to my, my lap around here. But the idea with this is, of course, that we've got a very basic window over here. Actually, an even number, which is kind of... Not my favorite, but that's fine. Uh, we've got that, and we've just managed to do a little bit of a lip at the bottom, a little bit of a lip at the top, and corner it off with each of those. And that seemed to be enough just to get it to look at least decent enough for us to to call a window, uh, call it done at least. So can we get something like this, that, and maybe a bit of that there? Let's see how that looks. Yeah, something like that will work quite well for us. So that's, that's the idea with this window, at least. It's quite a simple way of just getting this to work. And I think it looks pretty good. Of course, a doorway and then the other windows. And that will be connecting to that back building, which is the same reason. Okay, just do a creeper check. The exact same reason why there's no area over here. Because we don't know where this is going. This is probably going to merge into that other building. So I don't want to put that wall in just to tear it down in, a, in another day or whatever. So we'll we'll keep that open over there. Around this way, this is where we were having another issue, which was these poles coming down here. And my solution to the poles? I think we keep them. I think we, we keep them. Because this isn't meant to be an area that's frequented by a lot of people. It's meant to be kind of a, a serviced path, like a, an area where these people would be doing their their laps. I don't know what they'll be doing here, but basically that's where that... Oh, my bad. Uh, that's where they'll be walking. Not a lot of people, so I don't think it's too important. And of course, we've got the gardens around here and these windows here as well, which I think look very good overall. So the next stage is, of course, going out this other direction right where... This is my bed tree, by the way. Right over here. So when we start pushing out this way, my thought is that we'll have probably one big baluster over here. And I, I said actually a bow and arrow a bit earlier to, to describe him. I think a crossbow is probably like a giant crossbow is probably the best explanation, to be honest. I don't know why I use the other one, but yeah. So if we had one of them there, maybe another one or two of them along here, we could still just run this around as if these guys go in here, they live in here, they do their lap around there. Do this stuff like that. I think that would be pretty cool. And it also leaves us room for maybe a tower over here that could be connecting to this place. And then everything inside the city, of course, is going to be safe. If you want to have your house here, it won't be the nicest of areas, but it's an area nonetheless. And you can go out there and have it uh, being safe for you. So going out this way a little bit, I want to just check what this big open area is looking like. Okay, it's not looking very open, which is I, I kind of a pity. I was hoping this was going to look a little bit wider and open. Like a very obvious courtyard as you fly over it. Let's try it from this other direction over here. Because, of course, you have we like to consider every single angle. From top, bottom, the road, everything. I think it still looks alright. It's it's definitely stuck to the theme of keeping up with the, the weird height changes and stuff like that. But like, look at that. Level, 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 level. Definitely has made this area a little bit more intriguing. However, there's, there's a few things that I think I would like to change. Uh, first of all, I think what we should be doing is something over here, which we will have a tunnel. Uh, but some of the things that I would like to change is maybe making these things here a bit more narrow. Because that's very, very large. And I don't know what we can put in there that would actually make sense for being near one of these things. Because it's not really a part of this. So that could be something I would change. Uh, and also the paths connecting out this way. Because I don't quite know where that's going. However, that could have a spot. Uh, but besides that, I think we've got it looking pretty good. So what we'll do, you guys, is we will call it an episode here today. Get ready for the next one where we're going to be building in the back here. We'll be putting in those balusters, hopefully. Who knows? Maybe. And then, of course, we will also be moving on to the other side of the, of the world at some stage. Maybe in the next few episodes. Maybe a bit later in the 20 episodes. Who knows? But thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed it. And I'll see you in the next one.